Today is my maiden day voyage with the van. All my fruits of hard labor have come to an end. Everything is complete and I'm psyched. It's a Friday morning. I'm going to the Tampa RV show. This is the largest RV show in the United States from what I've been told. But people make all kinds of uh, claims to what what is the largest and the best. I'm going to be meeting Lewis and Lydia down there. Now, Lewis has his own YouTube channel. It's uh, Rolling Earthship, and I've been following him for a while. I met him uh, about a month ago. And Lydia, I'm going to meet for the first time. That's Lewis's girlfriend. She's simply RVing, and I'm psyched. We're going to spend I think the weekend but I don't know the whole thing that I'm doing is open-ended when I get in his van I have no idea where I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna end up in Key West though because I want to go as far south as you can possibly go so here it is I'm giving this the big go ahead and I'm gonna do it and I'm leaving this morning well here I am today staying at a TA travel center First time I ever did anything like that. You can see the travel center over here. Now there's Lydia's truck, the camper, Lewis's van, my van, and look at me. I'm uh, here. Lewis uh, told me about this little crock pot, so I'll show it to you. Look at this. A little 12 volt, 1.5 amp crock pot. Pretty nice, huh? And uh, he says it works really good. We stayed here all night and uh, it was pretty good. Uh, we're getting ready to go to the Flywheelers Convention. I don't know where it is, somewhere somewhere in Florida, somewhere close by. But um, what I'm doing right now, I'm getting ready to go. And uh, it was a good night of sleep. Oh, my bed is so nice. I like it, it's really good. It's not a real good Nikon, but here we are. Look, you can see yourself here. After a while, you'll get to know. Is that a camera like this? You have. You'll get to. Sometimes you can see yourself in there. Sometimes you'll get to know. You can extend your arm. Let me see. Like I'll tell you. Don't go like this. So you're not. You don't want to be looking up. Right there. You're. You're right here. You're good. You just got. You're. Eventually, you'll get the hang of where your camera. Where here, you still on it. Here, you're right at the edge of the screen. Yeah. There, you're in the middle. There, you're on the other corner. A little bit closer, but corner. So you're right? gonna have to uh, do you, figure yeah, out. Yeah, but you're gonna find that you're gonna know. Here we are. Here's Lewis. Where? He's right there. Oh, right here. And here's oh, here's Lydia. Here she comes. Let me get Lydia. So guys, it was a definite good time. Cool. The last two days. Yeah. I appreciate everything. These guys taught me a ton of stuff. You know, sometimes in this world, you meet true angels. And I have to say that Lydia and Lewis are true angels. I had a whole idea, and I know I studied this a little bit, how van life was going to be. But once I met Lydia and Lewis, especially Lewis, he taught me so much. It was so funny. Lewis taught me everything about how I was going to live in the van and made it so much easier. It would have been a long time and a lot of trial and error. All the way from using 100% distilled vinegar for cleaning dishes and cleaning stuff, all the way to how to poop and pee in a van. And Lydia was so funny. I went to Dunkin Donuts and went and used the bathroom. She said, Bob, did you just use the bathroom here? She said, from now on, that van is your house. And that's where you go to the bathroom, not at Dunkin Donuts. You don't use these public restrooms. She was so funny. So I have to thank Lewis and Lydia for what they did to help me learn how to live in a van. And I can call Lewis anytime I want, and he'll tell me what to do if I have any questions. It's time to say goodbye. We already said our hugs and our goodbye. We, we said our hugs and we gave our goodbyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
you knew what I meant. But anyhow, so they're going to go into their vehicles and take off. We're and driving off into the sunset. Yeah, we where's my key? We will. I, I don't have my key. We will. See. Where's my key? Oh no, I got, I got. We will rendezvous again. Yes. yes definitely. Cool. It was nice, nice spending time it with Bob. Nice. And nice meeting Bob, and now we have a lifelong friend, hopefully. This is what it's all about, meeting people that you usually wouldn't meet. I'll give you my bank account later so I can start making deposits there. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye. Bye, Louis. Bye, Lydia. I'm getting ready to take off. Going on my way. Trying to set my compass here. Uh, I'm on my own. Louis and Lydia, they're gone. So it's just me now, and uh, I'm off to see the wizard. Nice driving, it's a nice day. Uh, found out I'm not using that much solar as of yet. I mean, I watched TV last night. I uh, did charged up my computer with the inverter. Um, getting ready to go down the road. Uh, you can see. I'm in a place called Avon Park, Florida. We slept last night at the Flywheelers Convention. It's a pretty nice place. Uh, many old engines. We saw tractor pulls. I didn't take any videos. I probably should have, but I didn't. So here we are. I'm on my way driving down the road. You can see out here. Show you a little bit of what's going on. Uh, you can see nice sky it's sunny uh, pretty good 67 degrees right now at uh, 10 o'clock that's pretty good I gotta look for a couple stores I know I passed a Walmart before I'm looking for a Publix I see a big lots see a huge Arby's I mean what the heck there's a Winn-Dixie but I know their prices aren't that good so I know you drive a little bit more, you'll find a Publix, because they're all over the place.